everybody, I hope you're all doing well and had a good weekend stitching. So I thought I'd show you how I got on doing the cruel stem stitch on Saturday. So I finished off doing all of this bit using Philippa's um, flip method. I don't know if that's what she calls it, but we'll call it the flip method. Um, and it definitely helped me. And I made sure I took Andrew's advice of making sure I was, wasn't coming up the back of the second stitch. And you can definitely see it's laying flatter in places and I'm a lot happier with how this one has come out. So today we're sticking with um, cruel stem stitch for another day <laughs> and we're going to do some of these leaves just in here so we'll almost have a, a finished segment which will be quite nice. Um, so let's get started. So I'm just going to start by coming up. Second finger down. Hold it with the second finger. Come up near where you had the first stitch. Split and flip. That split and flip has definitely helped me a lot. I'm gonna come up. And you can feel how you could get your speed up a little bit more as you get used to the technique. I'm still trying to go slightly slow to make sure I don't make any mistakes. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that I keep um, my stitches around the same size because I know that that's something I've had trouble with before and it just makes them look more even just going to come up pinch, split, turn so Priscilla McGarry she left a lovely comment over the weekend how she's finally got the technique and I'm so pleased that you've managed to get it too because it's one of those things when you get the hang of it it makes so much sense but at the time it can feel a bit overwhelming that's why I often you'll often hear me muttering to myself as I try to get the hang of things I have to repeat things over and over again so what I've done here is I'm not quite sure if this is how I was meant to do it, but I've just put a little stitch in there so I can come back up because I'm changing direction. But I've just come back up that stitch, which wasn't a very good idea. So, come up here. Because so we're changing the direction of the hoop, of the loop now. Pinch, split, turn. I think that's right. Split, turn. Pinch, split, turn. Down here. go over the stems which is partly why you do the background first so we should in theory get a nice clean edge now on this. which is why I 
which is why I'm not going to do this top leaf until I've finished this bit. So that'll be once I move the linen. There's the outline done, so I'm just going to come back up here because then we've got this stem. Come back and all of these leaves, it's all one colour, which makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Takes it back to the red work rabbit days. Just leave the end of my thread there. We can go down. Hopefully, we can get to the end. So that's the outline done. So I'm just going to get some more of the blue thread and we're going to put in the little seeding stitches to finish that leaf off. We're going to go back in with the seeding stitches. Now Caroline Jackson, she left a lovely comment saying that she's been playing catch up on some of the videos and saying how much I've improved over each um, kit. And it's definitely one of those things practice definitely, definitely helps there. Oh, I've lost my thread. Um, and I definitely think because I've because of these videos, I've been stitching every day, and it definitely helps um, get that technique better. And using the different kits, you get different tips from each kit. Um, and all of the comments that you've been leaving have really helped me as well. So thank you to everyone who has commented with tips because they've really helped. So I'm just gonna go on to the seeding stitch. So on the linen, it does have the marks for doing the seeding stitches. So we're just going to go up and down. It's got the direction that we're going to be putting them as well. And Philippa did say that this is a really good way of practicing the two-handed stitching. So if you've been struggling with it like I was at the start, and I still do a little, a little bit, this is a really good one to help practice it. The last kit I did, which had seed and stitches like this in, was the first one I did, the Red Work Rabbit. Bringing back memories of doing that, I enjoyed doing that kit. Especially because it was my first one, I was surprised at how quickly I managed that. But I enjoyed that one a lot. Although well, it is nice to get to use lots of different colours. And down. And down. A little 
so often you notice ones that you've missed <laughs> Quite sure if that's just where I missed. So there is the first finished leaf. I'm really happy with how that's turned out. So I'm going to go away and finish the other three leaves. I, like I said before, I'm going to leave that top leaf until I've finished the cool stem stitch when I've moved the linen. But tomorrow we're going to move, move away from, from cruel stem stitch for a little bit. And we're going to go on to doing this hill here, um, which I'm really excited to do. I have a feeling that once we've got at least one of these hills in, it's going to feel like we've, we've done a lot. So I've seen some pictures of people who are doing this kit and kits which are based off of this kit, where you've already done the hill and they look really good. So I'm excited to try and make mine look as good as yours. Um, so we're going to do the background and then we can do the first bunny rabbit. So I'll see you tomorrow when we get started on that. Mm -hmm.